Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel CLKF. In this video, I am going to discuss about load transfer mechanism of a structure. That means how these loads are going to transfer from one component to the other component of a structure. And it is very very important skill to be developed in a civil engineer so that you can imagine things properly. That means not only this example, whatever the things you are going to visualize in the real life and how you are visualizing that loads is transferring from one component to other components and that skill is very very important for you then only you can become the perfect civil engineer in my point of view whatever the theories you are going to learn in the class and you are going to produce on the paper in the exam those are not at all becoming the perfect civil engineer whenever you are going to use those theories and formulas in the application part of the civil engineering then only you can become a perfect civil engineer so let us get into the example now let us consider this uh, whatever the structure here you can see this is a slab which is supported on the three beams and after that these three beams are supported on to the other two beams and thereby it is going to transfer to the columns so how this load is going to transfer in this problem i am going to consider the self weight of the structure is negligible and this is a 100 kilo newton per meter square is going to act on the as pressure on the slab now let us solve how this 100 kilo newton per meter square is going to transfer from one component to the other components and i am considering this as level one beams and these two beams are level two beams and i am going to consider this as b1 and this is b2 and this is B3 and this is B4 just whatever the imagination is very very important here whatever the beams B2 and B3 they are going to resist the equal load you can see clearly because what these are at equal distance so that they can resist the same load and whatever the load which is coming on to the B1 is double that of the whatever the B2 or B3 B here you can see this is a plan view and this is the B1 and this is the area in which the pressure which is going to transfer onto the B1 B. This is a 10 meters length and this is also 10 meters. So now let us see whatever the this area which is going to act on the B1 B. This is nothing but 2.5 meters. It is seen clearly and this is also 2.5 meters now let us convert whatever the pressure which is coming on to the b1b into udl now let us calculate the intensity of that udl now let us convert this whatever the pressure which is coming on to the b1b into udl here the load which is coming on to the b1 the width of the dispersion is 5 meters so let us multiply this pressure into this width of dispersion so that you can get the UDL intensity that is 100 into 5 will give the 500 kilo Newton per meter this will be going to act as UDL on this particular beam this is nothing but B1B 500 kilo Newton per meter and whatever the it is simply supported on this level 2 B let us calculate the reactions for this B1 B 500 kN per meter and this whatever the length is 10 meter so 2500 kN is a reaction which is going to develop and this 2500 kN is going to act as a point load in this level 2 beams so now let us see if you consider this image you can see clearly B1 beam is supported on the level 2 beam at the center so this is nothing but 2500 kN and you all know whatever the load which is resisted by the B2 and B3 beams which is nothing but half of the load of the this B1 beam so this is nothing but 1250 kN. So now whatever the reaction which is going to develop for this level 2 beam is nothing but this is 2500 and this is also 2500 and this corresponding 2500 kN is going to transfer as axial load on this column this is 2500 kilonewton and also you can cross verify that is 
100 kilo newton per meter square into this whatever the area of this slab that will give 100 into 10 into 10 that will give 10000 kilo newton here 2500 kilo newton for each column four columns are there so it is nothing but 10000 kilo newton in this way you can visualize the things how this load is going to transfer this is a simple exam i have concept next get into the other thing this is the one way slab system you can see clearly this slab is supported by the beams in the one direction only there is no support in the other direction so it is one way slab and also if the slab is supported in the both direction and based on the ly by lx ratio you can define other system that is two way slab system now let us get into the two way slab system here you can see this is the two way slab which is rested on the columns and also beams see here the it is a square slab you can see and how this load distribution is going to be is like this if you consider this as b1 b and this is a b1 b in this way the load is going to transfer whatever the triangular portion of this slab is going to transfer on this b1 b if you consider the height of this triangle is here it is clearly given this is 10 meters so it must be 5 meters so if you transfer this 5 meters triangular load onto this b1 beam in this way the triangular load is going to act on this beam in this way this is nothing but uniformly varying load if you want to find the ordinate of this triangle just you have to multiply this pressure into the width of dispersion that is 100 into 5 that is 500 kilo newton per meter this is the ordinate that is 500 and remaining it is going to vary across the length of the beam so in this way the idealization of the load distribution will take place in the square system that is square slab next coming to the rectangular slab you can see here this is the rectangular slab you can see the dimensions that is 5 meter and also 7 meters and the load distribution is in the form of trapezoid this is the trapezoid and this is also for example if you consider b1 beam this is a b1 beam and you have to transfer this 100 kN per meter square into the trapezoidal load and thereby this load is going to be resisted by this b1 beam and if you consider this as beam and this is the 5 meters so it is nothing but 2.5 meters if you want to find out the ordinates at this whatever the maximum ordinates you have to multiply this 100 into 2.5 so that you can get 250 kilo newton per meter is the ordinate of this trapezium which is the maximum ordinate thereby you can transfer that load into the beam in this way the two way slab system is going to act whatever the you observe in the nature it is going to be act in this form only whatever the load distribution is in this form of one way slab or two way slab and also other forms this is the simple examples i have considered so to explain the load distribution of a structure and also if you find anything useful you just comment in the comment box i will take up that thing and also i have tried to explain the upcoming videos and this is the theory versus practical series going on which is very very important for a civil engineer and also thank you for watching this video